he's, he has a hole in his shirt. He has a fucking hole in his shirt. Oh shit. What's up YouTube? In this video I want to talk about Crazy George. He is an arm wrestler from Canada who's known for the King's move and he's about in his mid 70s now and he's been arm wrestling I want to say for 30 or 40 years maybe even more. Someone could correct me on the exact number but this guy is an experienced arm wrestler and you wouldn't think he would still be able to be highly competitive at the age of in his 60s and even 70s but this guy is an absolute monster still somehow and I came across his match of him against Sam Harris where his like shirt is ripped and I thought it was hilarious because he literally looks like a like a homeless dude like just a homeless dude on the street just came up and just like arm wrestled and and it's just hilarious look at this Sam Harris, USA, takes on our very favorite Mike Duel And Sam Harris is a beast. If you don't know him, he's been in the World Arm Wrestling League with a bunch of big wins there. Like the guy is known as a super good arm wrestler. And George has got to be in his late 60s or early 70s in this video. And there you see him slipping out. The thing about Crazy George, he's not known for having a big hand. I've never pulled with him, but you can just see uh, visually that he doesn't have the biggest hand. Uh, but he, once he gets in that strap and is able to use his king's move, it's very lethal. So they're going into the straps, round one. And you can see him stretched out, but he's in that King's move, pronation engaged, and we'll see if Sam is able to finish that. So to me, what I'm seeing here is Sam Harris is just trying to go through the King's move instead of trying to go around it, which is the proven way to beat the King's move by either flopping through it or going rising around enough to get enough height and then transitioning to a press or getting your shoulder behind it while still being cupped in. But I don't see him doing enough rising to get uh, George separated even more on his hand there. And this is the point where the match turns. You see his wrist going back and it's just completely over. And look at this, He's, he has a hole in his shirt. He has a fucking hole in his shirt. I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it's just like he just came off the street and just destroyed a fucking professional arm wrestler. What a legend, what a legend. He's like, come on, buddy. Still got more rounds. What a fucking legend this guy is. Round two right here. Wow, wow, much better start. It's almost getting the pin out of the strap there. Wow, wow, that is a crazy position right there. This position reminds me of Oh, I used to pull Bob Brown. I used to get in that position where I was under. Now I think my hand is too strong. I'd be able to just completely control him center table. And, or even most people in the, with a king's move who are, who's facing me that isn't like highly a lot stronger. But it's an interesting position that you'll see because George is over pronating as someone who's a king's mover, pronation being his main weapon. And he's out of the straps, even in a really good position here. What are they calling that? They're calling that the win there. And it's the best two out of three, so so that's it. That's the win. Look, there again, you see him with the shirt with the hole in it. Homeless dude comes off the street and destroys professional arm wrestler. Going to be the title. Some shit like that. That's funny. But, I mean, I also came across a match with him and Travis Bajant where they put money on the line. But um, let's look at the comments here first. Kings move or not, he still must have amazing hand and wrist power for his age for sure. 
Just wow to the old man. Nothing is impossible. Yeah, it's crazy. He's like 70 years old. Give that man a new shirt. That's the MVP comment right there. For real. This man just beat Sam Harris. He's for, forever got my respect. Yeah. I'd like to see George versus Zaloyev. That would be a good one. King of the King's move. Literally. He's like the one of the original guys known for doing the King's move, basically. And now we have, I mean, now there's so many people doing the King's move. Got Michael Ty, got Devin, got, I mean, just the list goes on and on and on. So, honey, how fast did you pin that 70-year-old man's arm? Oh, man, that's a funny comment. <laughs> Dislike just because George is the worst arm wrestler to watch in the history of the sport. Sounds like a hater. Sounds like a hater right there. Someone's hating on the King's move, but... um. Anyways, the, this video from the uh, Mike Gould Classic with uh, Crazy George is amazing. He like called out Travis Bajant. Like, That's crazy. Just just imagine the weight difference. He's probably like 160 going against Travis at like what 260, 270 or something, 280 maybe. Go to Arm TV for the original video, by the way. So many amazing videos on Arm TV. He said, I'll give you a hundred bucks. I'll give you a hundred bucks if you win. He says, I think I can get him. Bro, he has another shirt. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He needs some new shirts, man. Let's take a look right here. Okay, his shirt has some serious holes going on. But, hey, who cares about a uh, clean shirt that isn't damaged when you're 70 and you're still relevant in arm wrestling? Crazy. There's the money on the table. Money on the table right there. This is the Mike Gould. Classic. We make it up as we go. Nobody knows exactly. Man, that looks like such a fun event there. Is that Engin? Holy shit. That is Engin, isn't it? That looks like a young Engin, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. One match. That's got to be Engin. That's got to be Engin. Somebody verify that. Right there. But this is looks like such a cool venue, like such an amazing tournament. Nobody knows exactly what the so let's get her on. Whoa, Travis is like dad moving him in that grip there. That is such a low grip. Legend has it, uh, Crazy George doesn't have a shirt that without holes in it. It's just he just doesn't own one. Ready, go. Going to the strap. Okay, okay. Damn. Man, he felt something. Travis felt something there. Travis! Wow, what a venue. What a venue. So many people in the crowd there. No drag, it's a punch in. It's a throw punch. Here it is. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's a crazy moment right there. Travis goes for the hit. It looks like it was very close to a pin, if not a pin. It might have been below parallel, but it wasn't called. And then George able to finish that. Oh, 
man. He's like, that is biased refing. Travis is just like, what the hell? Just because he's your boy from Canada. We're about to show the replay, I think, in slow motion. You owe me $100. Man, you owe me $100. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. You see that that string uh, bouncing there? Look at that. That thing is bouncing. Something hit that uh, that pin string there. For, this is a bad angle to see if that's a pin or not. Like this is an awful angle. Like from the top, you really need like a like a side angle from directly across, as they have in east versus west, like a directly across angle. That was probably a pin. <laughs> that was such a crazy moment. Look at that. What a crazy moment. Right, let's see what he has to say about it. Oh, shit. There's a young Devin right there. They're arguing whether it was a pin or not. Yeah, it looked like it was probably a pin. Tempting, trying to get better. Keep walking. You want his autograph? I don't want I can't participate in one. There's Beja and a young Devin. What a what a what an interesting sight there. Uh, but anyways, that's it for the video. I wanted to highlight Crazy George because this guy's a legend in the sport. If you haven't heard of him, now you have. I hope you enjoyed that video footage. There's a lot more footage of him doing amazing things and matches. Those were just two examples right there, which I thought were pretty interesting to share. So I hope you enjoyed that. But that's it for the video. I'll be back soon.